Hi there, so, um, wow, it looks really dark in here. I don't think it's looked this dark when I made a video, but it's been very dark all day. It almost looks like the sun just didn't really try to come out today. Um, it just looks like it stayed down most of the day because it's just really gray and, um, the temperature's up and it poured, 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 like, hours today. Like, I mean, like, torrential downpour for, like, two or three hours today and, there's this flooding everywhere and the snow is still, there's still a ton of snow too, like we still got like half a foot of snow, there's no grass or anything yet, because we just got dumped on, now it's like pouring rain on top of the snow melting, so we're probably going to have some high water situations here in the next couple of days if things continue. I'm told that, or I heard, that um, it's supposed to get really warm tomorrow, like 12 or 13 above zero. Probably what Stacy's having today, Dreamer72 Fam, in a comment. She said they're at 60 today, so I think that's what we're going to be heading tomorrow. And uh, she said it broke a record down there, and I'm sure it will here. So, um, yeah, it's definitely warming up. And then it's supposed to Thursday be back to like minus whatever below freezing, so it's going right back under again. So, well, that's not good. Um, but yeah, today is not nice out at all. Um, can I tell you, um, today, oh, now I've started off with the weather and stuff, usually I would start off with work, so now I'm like, oh, not sure where the heck I'm going here, but, um, work was, uh, well today, uh, I didn't have a whole lot to do today either, it was still kind of slow, but it'll all pile in at once like it always does, um, management was pretty infuriated today because, uh, I guess, I was telling you guys a few weeks ago that there's this one part that we run and the same thing keeps happening where the unfinished parts keep getting mixed in with the finished parts and this time one made it to the customer again. This is I think the second time it happened. It hasn't happened for over a year. But when it makes it to a customer it's just like contracts can be ruined over that. Like they could drop million dollar contracts and this was uh Raymond, um, a company in Green, New York and uh They've been uh, around for a long time. We do work for them for a long time. We have a lot of work that we do do for them. It's a lot of percent of our business. So it's definitely something we don't want to mess up. So they were definitely flipping out big time. This is like the third time. There's really no excuse. I I personally don't feel like I've ever done it. Like, um, And most people say that though. So obviously somebody's screwing up somewhere along the lines. Um, but now they have a new rule that you can't have a certain amount of parts. You have to leave spaces on the machines and stuff so that the parts are farther apart from each other. So hopefully that works because uh, it's definitely not good. Um, we think it's some of our newer co-op students, which is, I don't get it because, like, these people go right out of high school and go to college or university and become machinists like I'm going to be doing. But they just go right into school and then they come on their co-op release. They come to the shop for the first time in their life and they're like, oh... Like, they don't have any work ethic, they don't have any, like, eye for quality, they don't have anything, they just have the brains, and that's not, you need to know the hands-on, too, so, yeah, so people who are more educated than me are the ones that are screwing this stuff up, because, um, yeah, they, they're in school and everything, and the night shifts, like, all co-op students, and they screw up constantly, so, um, what work obviously they understand the co-op students they get paid way less so um, that's something they expect to happen kind of but uh... something that they're definitely not going to tolerate i don't know what the next step of action will be if uh... this continues but it probably won't be anything good um, so yeah that was the exciting stuff at work um, but yeah, I really don't have much today. Um, my uh, Keurig machine wasn't working when I just tried to use it. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, oh, it's pissing me off. But it wouldn't brew. And finally, I'm like, okay, I'm going to put some warm tap water. And finally, it brewed. So I'm not. My mom keeps putting the pitcher of water for it in the fridge. And um, I think it's been uh, too cold. So we're going to have to keep it out. So I was trying to do. But they always put it in there because. Anything I leave out, it always looks clutter to them, so I can't leave anything out. I had to, like, it was a good enough fight just to be able to keep my, uh, my curing machine on the counter. And I was like, well, why the hell did you buy me this machine if I can't even keep it on your counter? Like, what am I supposed to use it in my room? Like, that was really stupid. But, um, yeah.
yeah, I'm not going to rant. <laughs> but yeah, it was a pretty good mood today, but that Keurig kind of ticked me off a bit because I wasn't sure what was going on with that, and it's like a month old. Um, then I was uh, taking my recycling out, and I spilled half the can pop cans fall out, there's pop all over the floor, and uh, yeah, I was not happy about that. And I got my laundry started, and yeah, I just feel like the day after work, I feel like I've just had never ending things to do, like... But, um, yeah, I've done most of the uh, chore type stuff. There's a ton that needs to be done, but I just, I can't come home from work and just be non-stop doing stuff. It's already, like, 4 o'clock, and I'm just sat down, haven't done any algebra or anything. So, uh, today I'm just kind of feeling, like, overwhelmed and not knowing how I'm going to be able to handle school and tutoring and on top of not getting half the stuff done that I need to get done here, um... And then finding time to relax. I really need my chill out time, especially when I'm working all day. I cannot come home and deal with all that kind of crap I was dealing with today with my stupid machine broken. It just gets me really ticked quick. So I have a crappy tasting tea here that's made with uh, tap water. And uh, apparently I didn't put enough sugar because it tastes like crap. But, um, <laughs> I can tell I'm really positive today. But, um, yeah, it was a good day though. But, uh, and like I said, I was just getting frustrated with things after work. But I'm going to be going and doing some, um, watch some algebra. I'm not going to watch a lot today. I watched 45 minutes yesterday and I'm just, I'm getting sick to death of it. Um, so I'm going to do, uh, like half hour today. I'm just, um, plus today I'm just not really in the mood for it either. So I need, but I'm going to make myself do it even when I don't want to. So, maybe just a little less or at a different time, um, but I should, I'm going to do it right now. Um, I got uh, an algebra workbook ordered on uh, Amazon. Coming, it's going to teach me how to do cross multiplications and a bunch of stuff that you need to know for algebra related stuff. So I'm uh, going to work through that. Uh, some of the reviews said it was pretty good for people who don't have much knowledge and it kind of weans you up to the more advanced stuff. So I want to try to do that. That'll be here within a week or two. So until then, I'm going to continue to watch this algebra video, then do the algebra workbook, and then if I hadn't started school yet by then, I'm going to have to start learning trigonometry, and then get my tutor involved and all that. Um, but yeah, like I've been saying, I'm hoping that I'm having more, I could have more time to, uh, before the apprenticeship starts, just to, uh, I'd like to get algebra, good concept of algebra down, and at least start on trigonometry before I start schooling with a tutor. I think that would help me out because I don't want to. I want to try to use the tutor as little as possible because I don't have the money for that. So, anyways, I'm gonna keep this under 10 minutes for once. Um, but yeah, I really can't think of too much right now. Um, nothing really new and exciting today. So I'm gonna get going now and uh, um, fight through a 20 minutes to a half an hour of algebra. <laughs> Let me just watch the last 20 minutes because that's usually where the most advanced and like the steps where I'm getting lost are happening. So I'm going to go do that. But hopefully you all had a good Tuesday and yay, tomorrow's hot day. Hopefully it's a nicer day than today. I don't know, I haven't looked at the weather. I don't really look at it much. <sighs> I don't know what the weather's like. Get up and look outside. That's pretty much what some people or some co workers I had used to always say. I don't know the weather, I'll just go look outside. So anyways, I'll see y'all later. Bye!